Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Some brie. How's it going? Just fine, I guess. Oh, you're not fine. Don't lie to me. Come on, be honest. So can we just not talk about this right now? Why? Is Scott here? You think he's gonna hear you talking about your insecurities? Some don't matter, you moron. You're too. How do I say this? Bland, boring, stupid. Just a plethora of things wrong with you. Anyways, English is about to start. In class essay today, all about originality. Your forte. <laughs> Nothing. Except I want you to stop writing because frankly it's embarrassing. What is? The way you write. You try so hard to be original. <sighs> you get points for originality. <laughs> That's cute. I mean sure. Teachers will say that having originality is a good thing. That being creative brings out your personality or gives you self-confidence. But do they really mean it? So what do you want me to do about it? Give them the same format that they always ask for to make it the exact same essay as everybody else in this class? Yes, we do exactly that. Because if you write an essay with originality, then your teacher won't like it. No one will. Take this from someone who knows you better than you know yourself. Your ideas suck. So you want to write your essay the way your teacher wants it to be, not the way you want it to be. And this lesson will apply to literally anything you do in life. Honestly, why else do you think your mother ignores you? Write the way she wants you to be. So what you're saying is that I need to do Everything the way somebody else wants me to, that I need to fit inside a little box of standards that I'm given. See? Now you're getting it. <laughs> I just want this to be over. I just want to be happy. I just Oh, come on. You think what you want really matters? Please, we've been over this. Do we need to review again? No. We don't, sweetie. Please, don't start this again. Start it? You are the one who started this, not me. Look, I'm just trying to warn you. You may not want to get your hopes up. I mean, look at you. 
You're average. You're nothing particularly special. You don't matter. It was only a matter of time before you realized. <laughs> what do you mean, matter of time before I realized? I've known this my entire life. So just stop and, and stop treating me like this because I don't even care if it's true because I'd rather live in the bliss of ignorance because I can't deal with it anymore. still am on occasions things like hiking and riding my bike bring me joy Step outside, all my favorite shows and books they transport me out of reality and make me hope that my life could become something someday. Oh, please. Stop thinking like that. It's also not like I never tried to get help. They did. I tried to talk to people, to my parents, but I could never actually bring myself to tell them about her. Because they don't care about you. I considered bringing up her to my friends, but when I even hinted about her, they laughed. They thought I was joking. They don't care about you either. No, they just don't understand. They don't get why she's here. I'm here because you needed someone to fill that hole in your life. When your mom died, I was the only one who could understand you. The only one who could comfort you. I had my dad. Your dad. You mean that lifeless excuse for a parent. He shut you out. He couldn't deal with anything else besides his own grieving. Shut up! Just shut up, okay? And get the hell out of my thoughts! I'm just telling the truth. Oh, and you should stop drawing those lies. You already tell them to yourself enough. I'm sick of this. I'm so sick of this. Sick of what? Your life? Your grades? Your friends? Your lame excuse for families? You in general? No. I'm sick of you. You know you can't get rid of me. Oh. You wouldn't do that now, would you? Yes. No. Well, maybe. You don't know. <laughs> maybe I don't know. I can make you. It would be my decision. It would be my decision in the end. Whatever you want to tell yourself. 
If I don't want to live anymore, then it's my decision to die. No one else can make this decision for me. No one else can take my life away like this. But I am you. I'm not your friend. I'm not your sister. I'm that voice at the back of your head. I'm your thoughts. I'm your depression. I'm everything that makes you you. I'm more you than you are. Shut up. Just shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. You're not me. And I don't care if you're my thoughts. I don't care if I created you. I'm gonna make this choice. I'm gonna kill myself just to prove to you that you don't control me. But Bree, killing yourself would only give me the victory. At least I wouldn't have to deal with you anymore. I wouldn't have to deal with anything. Then if you're so adamant about it, then do it. Just do it. Take it. Do it. This is your choice. You wanted this to be happy. You want to take your own life, then fine. God damn it, just do it. Oh my god. Oh my god, what did I just do? What, what did I just do? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen to me? We all have our demons. We all have our thoughts, emotions, and feelings. Some of us have crueler demons than others. That part of us can always be so harsh. But we can't let that stop us. We can't stop living our lives simply because of self-ridicule. None of us are anywhere near invincible. But that doesn't mean we should stop fighting. I wasn't brave enough to keep fighting. But I encourage every single last person to be brave. Your depression isn't you. Keep fighting. So